Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Bend, and I wanted to talk about the laser of the lower leg. It's hard for me to demonstrate since I don't have a model today, so I thought I would just show a picture of it. When we're dealing with the ankle or the Achilles tendon or calcaneal spurs, we can laser on the ar arterial connection to those joints. So we may want to do femoral arteries when we're dealing with your ankles because you want to have more blood flow to the area. Uh, you also, and some patients that have, may have this problem are diabetic patients. I just recently had someone come in that had had femoral um, surgery, femoral artery surgery, and he is having a lot of foot pain because he doesn't have good circulation to the feet. So cold laser is a great way to go about getting um, circulation to your feet and to your legs when you're having circulatory issues. So we can treat on the lateral aspect of the foot, it's hard to see on this, either side of the Achilles tendon, and you can also do the top, which is the talus bone, which is at the very top of the ankle on, um, when the leg connects to the foot. So that would be great for an ankle injury. Um, these would be at variable uh, laser. So with a laser, the way it works is that you will have different levels of depth depending on how big or, or light your laser is going as far as depth. So if you have a larger number, it's going to be more of a superficial area. If you have a smaller number, then you're going to go in, into more of a deep tissue area. We can also do the Achilles tendons for Achilles tendonitis, either side on the back of the common peroneal uh, nerve, which is the calf area, back at the popliteal fossa, which is right behind your knee, and then the bottom of your heel, which is that's where your calcaneus uh, bone is. So you can do this also for a calcaneal spur. We can innervate and get the blood flow improving as well as reducing muscle spasticity. So cold laser treatments are very good when we do about 15 session for each of these areas in the lower foot you want to get about 15 sessions to treat those areas to their maximum. Then what was trained to me was that the body will continue to heal itself over the next month or so. So you may want to rest your laser therapy, let your body heal itself and then if you still have more arthritis or deterioration after that you may want to do another series of lasers a month later. So give me a call if you have any questions about cold laser therapy. I'm Dr. Amy 